Welcome to all of you highly creative, open license, content creating people out there. Um, I want to show you how to complete the assignment in our course. So somewhere you should have saved on your computer um, a document that contains your course and unit level outcome, um, some description of the content that you've created, you've selected your license from the license chooser, and now I'm going to show you how you could actually publish it if you were going to deploy it into a course. So I'm going to go to create and share. You'll see I've already done one, but I'm going to do another one. And what I want to do now is I want to build content and I want to build a new item. So I'm going to put here that this is, um, for me, I'm going to put down Linda Williams and Business 216. For the purpose of this assignment, it, that's just going to let us know what, who submitted it and what course it's for. If it was in your course, obviously, you would have put eating worms or how to slay a dragon as the content information for your students. So now through the magic of instant typing, which is also known as the control V key on my computer, I'm going to give you the course that I created my OER for. So it's Business 216, which is my prob probability and statistics course. The course learning outcome that I selected was their a requirement to calculate probabilities using discrete and continuous probability distributions. So the module level objective that I selected for my content was to, for them to be able to determine the type of distribution before they could apply or calculate the probabilities. And then a brief description of the OER content that I created. So what I created as I click around here aimlessly was a flowchart that allowed students to determine whether the distribution was discrete or continuous. I know someone within the sound of my voice is having bad flashbacks to a statistics course, so sorry about that. And then finally, I'm going to indicate for this assignment which license I chose. And I chose a CC BY, which is the preferred license because it allows anybody to adopt, adapt, reuse, remix, or retain the content. So I've met the requirements of the assignment because I have put down my course, my course learning outcome, my module unit outcome, a brief description of what I've created, and then the license that I selected. So the last thing I need to do is I need to attach my content. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say attachment, browse my computer, and I'm going to the location where I saved it, which in this case happened to be my desktop, and I'm going to click, I'm going to select it, and then say open. So now I know that I'm good because it's got my file name is attached and it's going to create a lot of link to the file and I want users to be able to view the content obviously I'm not going to restrict when you can see it and now I'm going to hit submit so when my computer thinks for a moment what you're going to see is you're going to see this new piece of content created right here so if I were to be a student, this is what you all would see. You would see that this was a file attachment, and then when I want to look at the piece of OER content that I created and I submitted for my assignment, what I'll do is I will click here. I'm going to say, I'll go ahead and save it it will download. I'll click on it. It will open as soon as my 
version of Microsoft Word response. And you'll be able to see that this is what I created and submitted for my assignment. You'll see this horrible um, flowchart. And then your instructor in the course is going to be able to open this up and see that you submitted your assignment just like you were supposed to. So, I hope this helps, and I will see you guys around the class.